What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this shutter speed transition effect instead of after effects. So the effect that we're going to be going for is a super quick slow shutter kind of pan. As you can see the frame rate isn't like 30 fps as you can see it's kind of like jittery which is what we're going for and that's by using these different effects up here. Um, but ideally you'd want to do this effect in camera um, by like adjusting the frame rate and whatever but as you can see here, I guess it's also called like the step print. I'm not totally sure what this effect is really called, but or I guess maybe even the low frame rate. But as you can see, there's tons of examples of what this actually looks like done in camera. Yeah, this is kind of a good example of the effect we're going to be going for. You get these like super long streaks in the video and the shot is like moving super quickly, but it's at a super low frame rate, which I don't know. It just creates a pretty cool transition throughout your videos. So I highly recommend actually doing this in camera. But yeah, if you don't know how to do this effect in camera, then I'd highly recommend watching one of these videos on YouTube that go more in depth on how to create this effect actually in camera instead of doing it in post. So uh, I just found this video here by Gaku. I don't know. I think that's how you say his name, but I'll link the video down in the description so you can watch this. But as you can see on the screen here, this is basically the most important thing you need to know is having your shutter speed at 1 over 15 a second or all the way down to 1 over 10 a second so that's what you'd want to set your camera settings to to do this effect but yeah basically just messing with your shutter speed and bringing it down to a super low value like 15 to 10 will pretty much create this effect and, and then once you have those settings set you just want to create like a super fast pan movement with the camera all right now i'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do this effect instead of after effects you probably came to this video just to know how to do this so i don't know why i kind of talked about the whole entire camera thing but kind of helpful to know and i definitely highly recommend doing it if you're going to be going for these effects more often it just looks a lot more authentic and real but what we're going to do is go through our footage here and we basically just want to look for a shot where we move our camera super fast to like the left right up or down or whatever and it has like a decent amount of motion blur so hopefully when you were recording whatever you were doing you accidentally like panned the camera super quickly to, I don't know, just one side to the other. That's basically what we're gonna be looking for here. All right, so after looking around for a little bit, I actually found this shot at the very end that I filmed where I had just panned the camera down super quickly like this. And as you can see, we get some good motion blur, which is already gonna help out quite a bit. And you basically just wanna trim it down to that part of the shot, bring that into your timeline, and then just align it so it transitions from that first clip the other one or if you are doing this video inside of premiere pro you could literally just edit this one clip and then export it out and use this transition inside of premiere pro but basically what we want to do is go into the effects and presets and the first effect we're going to search up is cc wide time and bring this onto that layer and you can mess with the different values here i'm going to start out with the four steps at zero and the backward at three and actually i think three is a little bit too much as you can see if i turn this off it definitely has a lot of motion blur but if you didn't move your camera as fast down and you needed to create that extra motion blur then i'd highly recommend doing a higher value but since there's already a lot of motion blur on this i honestly don't even need that much i can just do like one but the next effect we're going to apply is called posterized time you just want to bring that on top of your ccy time or i guess below it and then bring the frame rate down to something pretty low like 12 or 8 I'd say it works pretty well now let's just go ahead and play that back and yeah, that is super clean. I think this effect just looks super cool throughout edits and it's honestly becoming pretty popular now within social media and everything. So once again, if you're editing in like Premiere or a different software, you could literally just export out this clip, trim down your composition to that layer and then hit Control M and then literally just export out this layer. And now we have this super short clip that we can throw into any of our videos and honestly just reuse this in future videos if you wanted to but that is basically how to do this inside of after effects i bet there's plenty of ways to kind of replicate this effect but this is what seems to work the best and looks the most authentic so if you found this video helpful then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out